Number eight is Tesla. They're involved in humanoid robotics, AI systems, and full self-driving cars. They are a leader in real-world humanoid robot deployment with their Optimus. Vertical integration is strong. They make all of the components of their, of their own, and they do all of the assembly themselves, just like they do with Tesla. Their data flywheel gives them a competitive edge from autopilot, um, hardware, software integration, and of course you have Elon's narrative power. From risk, they're highly volatile. Their production timeline for Optimus is still unclear. Now, I want to stop and do a sidebar for a moment. Let's talk for a moment about what we mean when we say the data flywheel effect. When analysts or commentators refer to Tesla's data flywheel from autopilot as an edge, they're highlighting a powerful feedback loop that enhances Tesla's AI capabilities over time, especially in autonomous driving and humanoid robots robotics like Optimus. So here's what that means in detail. A data flywheel is a self-reinforcing cycle where more users or data points um, or usage generates more data, which improves algorithms, which enhances product performance, which then attracts even more users. This creates exponential progress over time. So how does Tesla's Autopilot generate a data flywheel. Massive fleet data um, collection from Tesla's fleet of vehicles. They have over 4 million vehicles on the road globally. Each one is equipped with cameras and sensors. Every time a Tesla drives, it collects real-world driving data, video, sensor input, driver behavior, edge cases. Their artificial intelligence model training at scale allows them to use this vast data set to continuously train and refine Tesla's neural networks, improving perception, prediction, and control. Critical components for FSD, full self-driving, and eventually humanoid robot decision-making are positively impacted. They have continuous OTA, over-the-air updates. Tesla pushes software updates back to their fleet. As the artificial intelligence model improves, the cars get smarter. This allows Tesla to improve real-world performance without waiting for a new vehicle release. And then they have edge case feedback loops. Rare or difficult situations such as complex intersections, unusual pedestrian behavior and such, these are logged prioritized and fed back into the training cycle. This is a unique advantage because Tesla captures these edge cases at global scale, something most competitors are unable to do. Now, why does this matter for Optimus, their robot? Well, the behavioral models, the motion planning, and the situational awareness developed for self-driving cars are also applicable to humanoid robots. Navigating spaces and identifying or reacting to people or objects. This makes real-time decisions the, much easier. Performing repetitive or semi-structured tasks, Optimus will, be, will benefit from the already proven perception stack and massive real-world data pipeline that Tesla built for their full self-driving car autopilot technology. So a summary of Tesla's edge via the data flywheel. It's very simple. The more cars drive, the more data Tesla collects. The better the artificial intelligence gets, and then the more useful and attractive Tesla's products become. The more their cars or robots they sell, and then the cycle accelerates. That's the data flywheel. And it's one of Tesla's most formidable competitive moats. Okay, now that's the end of the Tesla sidebar. Let's continue our look at the list of companies. Okay, that concludes part C. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back and see the conclusion.